Okay, here is how to do confidence intervals for a one sample dichotomous outcome. Doesn't that just sound so cool? Again, we're using the data set that's in the class library, so the class directory. So you need this lib name statement, lib name, my data is the reference I'm using here, and in quotes, this exactly. This is the directory for the course. If you're in my class, I've sent you an email with this in it. So you can just copy and paste that right at the top of your program, and it's going to go to that directory. And we're going to do a proc freak. Data equals my data, which is the directory where the class data is, dot old. Old is the data set. Semicolon. Tables. So what do we want a table of? Our variable in home for nursing home. Slash after the slash is always the options in a proc freak. So binomial. Alpha equals 0.05, semicolon, run. Click on my little running guy up here. And here you see that the proportion is 78.95. The 95% confidence limits are 77.92. 79.98. So our population 78.95% are not in a nursing home and the 95% confidence limits are from 77.9% to 79.98%, so about 80%. Test of a null hypothesis that the proportion equals 0.5 in the population. Just in case you're wondering, it's very much not 50-50 in the population.